Green Mantle by John Buchan? Buchan? I'm not sure. This is a Folio Society edition, so it comes with this slip cover, sort of a bluish thing going on there, which matches or goes with, in any case, the cloth bound book itself. It's small, relatively small, easy to hold. I like small books. And you see it's got this cover of the person looking for something while someone's hiding in the bushes. It's a, it's a nice cloth cover. And it's got the uh, illustrations throughout. Illustrated by Nick Hardcastle. Trying to find a few illustrations along the way. Pencil line drawings. So uh, the book itself is, as I say, sort of a nice, I, I think it's a good feeling book, nice and small uh, and not terribly thick. Being Folio Society, it is Smith's own. You can have it lie flat without breaking the spine. The pages are acid free and they're sewn in there nicely, so they're not gonna, the glue's not gonna dry or anything. As for the pages, there's a reasonable amount of, of margin space here. It's not hugely generous, but then again, it's a small book. Pages are sort of normal thickness. I wouldn't, it's nothing to write home about, but it's nice, it's fine. And then, yeah, there are those illustrations throughout. Let's see if we can get an idea of how many illustrations there are, so. I wouldn't say it's packed with illustrations, but it's got a few. And this is about a 300 page book. Yeah. So this one was written in the, well, it was written in the, after World War I, but uh, not long after World War I. Let's see, it was written, oh look, it was written in the middle of World War I, 1916. I only thought it was afterwards because uh, though I haven't read it, I've read about it which is why I was interested in that. I think it's set during World War I, so it's, you know, set. It was written at the same time that it was set, and, and the outcome of World War I was not known, must not have been known at the time this was, that this was written. It's a sort of an adventure, spy, action, thriller kind of book. That's what I understand. Again, I haven't read the thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, there we go, Green Mantle. I like the cloth feel to it, just some texture there. And I like the size of it, as I've said about 20 times. So that is Green Mantle. Don't want to say the author's name again, John Buchan, Buchan, should have looked it up. And this is a Folio Society edition.